What's going on, guys? Jada Black here. Shout out to everybody that's tuning in. I want to talk about Michael B. Jordan and a particular female by the name of Bree, who is the baby's mother of Nick Cannon. She is on a show called Selling Sunset. It's a reality show, I believe, on Netflix. They are in season seven. And she decided to, to admit to sleeping with Michael B. Jordan. Now, for those of you who don't know Bree, Bree was previously married to a former NFL player, uh, Johnny Manziel. She was with Johnny Manziel. That's how people got to know of her publicly. I don't know of anything else before that, but I know that she was with him. I don't know how long, but I know they were together for a while. Then they got married to each other. Right. And then she ended up divorcing him. The next thing you know, she's hanging around Nick Cannon. Then next day, you know, she's pregnant and she has Nick Cannon's child. Right. But I'm trying to figure out what the timeline is between her and Michael B. Jordan, because for her to go on this reality show. And to admit that she slept with Michael B. Jordan, one, I I've told y'all women have no problem telling the world who they slept with. It's only a problem when men tell the world who they've been sleeping with. Now y'all got a problem with it, but y'all been seeing women for years out of nowhere. Cause again, Michael B. Jordan has never mentioned her ever. Uh, all of a sudden on this reality show, she wants to say that she slept with Michael B. Jordan. And listen, I know the game. I know the game. You know, she has to say these things because it's, it's for storyline. She wants to be able to have a storyline to be on the show. And I know she's only on that show because of Nick Cannon's connections. Nick Cannon, say whatever you want about Nick Cannon. Nick Cannon is a very connected guy who has connected himself uh, uh, a lot of baby mamas. And she's comfortable in her position as a glorified jump off who has a child with a guy who is successful. Nick Cannon is a very successful man. He works very hard. Whether y'all think he's corny or not, the guy is hella successful and he and he's impregnating a lot of women who have no issues with him. And Bree went from being the wife of Johnny Menzel to a glorified jump off who now is on a reality show thanks to Nick Cannon. And I guess because she needs a storyline she wants to tell the world that she had relations with Michael B. Jordan. Michael B. Jordan never mentioned her, but of course they're going to do this. Now, what we have to look at is the timeline, because again, I believe right after she divorced Johnny Menzel is when she started hanging around Nick Cannon. So was Michael B. Jordan hooking up with her right after her marriage? Was it before her marriage when she was a bit of an unknown? We don't know this, but we only getting her word from it. And I tell y'all all the time, these women have no problem telling the world who they're sleeping with, right? Telling the world who they're sleeping with. Why do we need to know this? Oh, I know because you're on a reality show now and you need a storyline on Selling Sunset, a show about real um, realtors, basically. How you get on the... Why aren't you on like the Real Housewives, not Real Housewives, Real Housewives of uh, L.A. or something, you know, Real Housewives of uh, Atlanta or something like that, right? She's on Selling Sunset telling people that she slept with Michael B. Jordan. What's going on out here? Now, I've told y'all this over and over. You know, Michael B. Jordan is very unproblematic. He don't go at people. He don't mention people, but everybody has this man's name in their mouth. And they have a problem with him because of how he addressed a reporter who had been saying, you know what I'm saying? It, it, not really in a bad way, but, but he's not a problematic guy. He's going to stand up for himself. You know, he's going to call stuff out, but he's not out here telling his business, his personal business, even with Lori Harvey. He's, he does, he hasn't really even addressed that. You know, he made fun of, the breakup a little bit on SNL, but it's SNL. What do you expect, right? What do you expect with SNL? They're, they're going to find something of your life to put on there, and he just agreed to do it. Now, let's get into this ridiculousness. I told y'all these heifers will use any 
anything to be relevant, anything. Make sure y'all like this video though. Let this video be relevant. Selling sunsets, Brie says she slept with Michael B. Jordan. I done that. Y'all see these women are becoming more and more like men every day. That's what guys used to do, right? Locker room talk, right? Yeah, yeah, I done smash. I done hit that, right? Now you got women saying they done hit that. This is where we are, right? This is according to people. There were several bombshells dropped during Selling Sunset's seventh season, but one of the juiciest belonged to Brie. The third, the reality star who's 32 confessed over a group dinner with several castmates that she once slept Michael B. Jordan, a revelation that balled over em, uh, Emma, Chrishell, and Amaza, and Amanza, excuse me. Who would you sleep with celebrity-wise? Who would you pick? Stars asked the group. Michael B. Jordan Smith instantly replied again. <laughs> Michael B. Jordan is a very liked man out here. Whether y'all want to think he's corny or not. Oh, you have, she said, oh, oh my God. Oh, wow. She says she wants to live through her box, basically. She says that she slept with all of her favorites. That's what Bree said. Bree, I'm not saying how she said it, but she basically said that she slept with all her favorites. I can only imagine who her favorites are. Who are your favorites, Bree? These chicks are ran through twice over. No wonder she's comfortable being a glorified jump off for Nick Cannon. Then she says, I'm kidding. No, you're not kidding. <laughs> you're not kidding, Bree. You're not kidding. Look at your life. I could look at the life. I could look at your life, Bree, and I could tell that you're not lying. Okay. Nick Cannon was the only one to impregnate you, but I have no doubt that you hooked up with a lot of guys that are your quote unquote favorites. That's what goes on out here. Like right? Nick Cannon was probably one of her favorites. I look at your life. And then I look at what you're saying. You could say you're kidding. But your life says you're not because you're you had a child with Nick Cannon, a guy that you're not even in a relationship with. And by the way, she's not in a relationship with anybody else. She is basically basically a lady in waiting. Bree is a lady in waiting for Nick Cannon. She's one of his concubines. She's a she's a glorified jump off and concubine this is your life and again I have nothing against her I don't hate Bree I just think her situation is sad to me I don't I'm not gonna say I feel sorry because he's financially supporting her but you've basically given up your life the best years of your life to be a glorified concubine and I'm telling you right now at some point Bree is going to regret this and she's gonna be bitter that's what happens. Bree was previously married to former NFL quarterback Johnny Menzel. However, the pair split after a year of marriage in March of 2019. People report amid accusations that Menzel was allegedly unfaithful. The divorce was finalized in November of 2021. In July of 2022, Bree welcomed her first child with Nick Cannon. I want y'all to look at the numbers. She finalized her divorce in November 2021. She had her first child with Nick Cannon in July of 2022. So while she was finalizing her divorce, she was sleeping with Nick Cannon, basically. Bree and Cannon continued to have a relationship, the nature of which she explained in detail at that same dinner. She says she loves Nick. She says she's happy with her relationship. However, that is and like if uh, she dates, she dates. She explained, she says she do what uh, she want to do, but still would never disrespect Nick. That means she's not going to date a man publicly. Like if she dates a guy, it's going to be very private. She says he just wouldn't. And even his situation and stuff says she's always been nothing but respectful of that. Understanding that many have been confused by their relationship, given that Cannon sees and has children with several other women. Bree added, I know people don't get it. And I don't care that people don't get it. Of course, because you're a concubine. 
But all I got to say is don't blame Nick Cannon when you get to being 40 and men don't take you seriously. They see you as a glorified concubine. Let me say this about Michael B. Jordan. Michael B. Jordan has done well in his life not to have children by women who are confused, who are delusional. He has dated, but he's pretty much kept himself a bachelor and he has not had, he's not pulled a Nick Cannon. He probably could, but he hasn't. That's why he's considered a high caliber man, whether y'all like it or not. And this woman is bringing him up at this dinner. Slower behavior. Again, I have nothing against Bree, but come on, man. At a dinner, you're like, yeah, I done got with that person. That that that's that's kind of slowish. It's, it's on the slowish side. You know what I'm saying? And again, if a man would do that, bring up a woman he done smashed on a reality show like that, y'all would be upset. Y'all be y'all be want him canceled. Y'all say he doesn't respect women, but these women don't respect themselves. They don't. This is why we never even knew that Michael B. Jordan was dealing with this woman. <laughs> we didn't even know. And again, ain't none of our business, but she made it our business, right? By putting it out there. By putting it out there. Ultimately, whatever she got going on with Nick Cannon is, is the life that she chose. I just don't want her to years later to be bitter and angry and mad because she's wasting the best years of her life to be a glorified jump off concubine so let me know what y'all think in the comment section below let me know your thoughts like this video and share it follow me on facebook twitter and instagram and i'll see y'all next one